Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about my perfume collection. If you guys would like to see my favorite perfumes and you know beautiful scents and all, please keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I truly appreciate it. Now let's get into the video. The very first perfume I would like to talk about is this Chloe perfume. Now, I am not the best with notes, so I can't really tell you the exact notes of the perfumes. But I can tell you that this one right here, not only the bottle is amazing, it smells like heaven. I absolutely love this perfume. This is one of the first luxury perfumes that I got, so I absolutely love this. I will be sure to put the notes on the screen for you guys, so you can, in case you want to know the exact notes in this perfume. But this is a little bit of floral and fresh at the same time. I wear this year round, I, wear, I mix this with my other scents, I wear this all the time every day anywhere i'm going this can always represent this is like an all occasion kind of perfume but i can see people loving it more in the spring in summertime because it is fresh but you can also wear it like year round this is a year round scent for me so this is my absolute favorite perfume i always always have this in my collection no matter what so this is definitely one of my top faves the second one i would like to talk about is this balenciaga paris first of all let's talk about the bottle this one is a little more spring i would say it's oh. this one is it's a little bit stronger it has a it's a tad bit powdery but it's also very buttery as well i absolutely love this when i wear this like i feel so clean so rich and luxurious like i love the balenciaga fragrances i have another one that i am absolutely in love with as well i don't know if you guys can tell by now but i'm absolutely in love with all my fragrances but this one right here i don't see many people talk about it this is also one of my top favorite perfumes for sure the next one i would like to talk about is the flora botanica it is also by balenciaga now this one right here is a very unique scent you know what i'm going to pull up the notes so i can kind of tell you guys Flora Botanica is the fragrance of the Balenciaga Botanic Garden. I absolutely love this. And the keynotes are Carnation, Wild Mint, Turkish Rose Essence, Hemp Leaves, Vetiver Roots, and White Amber. This is such a unique scent. When I first smell it, I was just like, what is this? This is the perfume that you wear and people will ask you what are you wearing not only you smell so good but you smell so different like it's not a common it's not a common scent at all i only wish i can just like put it to the camera and you can smell it but you can't and i'm terrible at describing scents so i hope that i'm doing an okay job so far and look at the bottle this is so chic and different and beautiful and just i love this the next one is ysl mon paris now i know a lot of you guys know this scent very well because a lot of people own this and a lot of people talk about it this is a straight up like sweet scent to me it is very sweet maybe a tad bit floral but sometimes it gives me a headache because it's so sweet i can't wear it all the time but this is definitely like a summer scent maybe summer night spring scent spring nights i would wear it at night because it's super sweet to me and yeah i think it's best to be worn at night when i wear this it lasts on me i feel so pretty and i feel so girly and it lasts a very long time on me and my clothes the next one i have here is daisy love 
oh so sweet i absolutely love his perfume bottles but this is definitely like spring in the bottle this is very like floral mixed with sweet and mixed with a hint of fresh like i love this perfume when i wear this as well i feel very girly and very pretty just you know very cute this is definitely one of those scents for me and it lasts also all day it just smells so good the next one is almost finished because this is also one of my favorite but i know for sure you guys are familiar with this this is the victor and wolf, and wolf flower bomb as you can see i'm like at my last drop i have to get another bottle but this is like <laughs> this is fresh i mean okay so i like fresh floral sometimes powdery it depends but i don't like too sweet of a scent so this is like fresh mixed with floral but this also smells good this smells so good like i know a lot of you know this perfume because a lot of people use it and it's for a good reason because this is amazing like this is a very good one i actually i like it a lot the next one i'm gonna show you it's definitely an og for me this is the coco chanel mademoiselle as you can see i'm also on my last drop listen guys this right here says like i'm pretty but like i'm not trying too hard like i love this scent this is definitely my signature scent i used to do a combo i used to put this coco chanel on and i would use my chloe and i have a mark jacobs it's also fresh and i just dab it in that combination people always ask me what are you wearing what are you wearing like this smells so good when i wear this that's it like it and it stays on me it lasts all day all night i preferably like to wear this at night like for a date night when i want to smell very pretty and just very you know like you know it smells this is my girl okay this the chloe the oh i have another one i'm gonna show you it's my girl too like i love these scents for sure my collection is not that big you guys so we're almost done my next favorite one is this cartier baiser volé oh my god you guys this smells so good it's a very grown woman scent it is floral with a powdery dry down so if you don't like powdery buttery scents you might not like this but for me with my chemistry it smells so good it lingers all day or all night whenever i wear it it lasts on my skin and it smells just so good the dry down is amazing on this like it lasts uh, it lasts amazing on me i love this it has like a slight powdery dry down it is more powdery than the balenciaga that i showed you previously but i absolutely love it as well the next one i'm gonna show you this is new to my collection but i've seen everyone talk about it and i just had to try it for myself when i tried this i was like okay at first i had the little sample and i was like okay i'm gonna get the big bottle this is the tom ford soleil blanc this right here it's like i don't know how to explain it this is like grown woman status but i'm chilling you know what i'm saying like i got money but i'm not trying to do too much like you see me i see you i smell good but i'm not trying to do too much this is this this is like spring 
I love this and I feel like this would pair very nicely with like other scents that you have like if you wear this because this is more on the fresh floral side to me if you want to mix it with something else you can it would smell absolutely divine I have here another sample this is the this is the Tom Ford I think black orchid so this is just a sample of the black orchid I will put the big bottle on the screen so you guys can see this one is a little stronger than I like my sense to be like this is strong this is something it's almost leaning towards like masculine almost like this is strong this is like I'm walking in I'm the boss what's up this is something that I would wear but I would pair it with something a little sweeter just to give it that feminine kick you know because this is like a powerful woman scent like they will smell you this is not a shy scent at all it actually reminds me of my Chanel Coco Noir which is definitely my next boss like I'm bossed up like I'm walking in like I'm here you smell me you see me like I want to be loud scent like this is like you have a business meeting you want to let them know like you mean business you ain't playing this is your scent this or the black orchid like you will make a statement with it this is also a little stronger than I like my scents to be so I always mix this with something a little a little sweeter a little, a little more toned down to kind of bring down the scent a little bit and my favorite perfume to mix with my coco noir is my Chanel Chance. This is the Autun, but I also like the Eau Vive to mix with my coco noir. This mixture right here is everything. When I mix my perfumes, people always ask me, what are you wearing? Because it comes off out of the ordinary. Like it, does just, it doesn't just smell like one thing because they're, they're smelling the coco noir, but they're getting a hint of the of the autumn could be in the not will be in, or the ovive so definitely this is more like a fresh floral yeah very lightweight like fresh floral this is something you can wear in spring and summer just you know like you don't want to do too much like it smells really good but it's very lightweight you know light and airy so when i mix these two together my next favorite perfume that I use mostly for mixing is the Easy Also oh Fresh. This is the one I was talking about when I said I would mix my Coco Mademoiselle, my Chloe, and I would put this on. This is very fresh, very lightweight, very soft. Like this is very a very dainty scent. Definitely. It's like a fresh floral but very dainty. So you can definitely use this to mix with any perfume that you have and it would just give it a very pretty scent, a very toned down scent. So I definitely love this one as well. The next one is the C by Giorgio Armani. Oh. C Fiori Eau de Parfum. This smells so good. So this is a warm floral. It has orange blossom, vanilla, and black currant. That mixture is heaven. The orange blossom mixed with the vanilla, just give it just a because I can smell that in there. I can smell it, and it just it it's amazing. Like I love this, and this also lasts a very 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 long time on me when I wear it. So. We almost finished. I have about three more. This one is a sample that I got from Scentbird, but the perfume inside is the Dolce Cabana Pour Femme. I will go ahead and put that on the screen so you guys can see. As you can see, I done ran through the perfume, but this perfume, I'm definitely getting the full bottle, the full size, because I love it. It smells so grown. And sexy like it's something about it. it smells just so 
good you guys like it smells so good the next one i want to talk about is my dolce cabana garden i mentioned this in one of my favorites videos i absolutely love this this smells so good this smells like like you're walking in a garden it's floral but not too floral not like old lady floral no it's just like a fresh floral it smells so good what more can i say besides that it smells so good i'm almost done with this because i use it almost every single day it's like my everyday scent i can if i don't know what to wear i can just throw this on it goes with the mood every single time i love this the next one i have is this carolina herora one and the reason why this is finished but the reason why I kept it is because look at the bottle. How sexy and cute and sophisticated is this? But I absolutely love the scent of this. If you do not own this perfume, you need this in your collection. This is like a very sexy scent with a hint of sophistication, a little bit of floral, like a hint of floral like mostly like like a vanilla warmish very amazing scent okay like you need this even if it's for it to look amazing on your vanity i mean look at this Listen, every time it runs out i have to buy it again because i actually really really love it last but not least this is a definite new fragrance to my collection this is the maison francis kirk de jean paris this is the gentle fluidity i am working my way up to the bacala 540 <laughs> i feel like that could be a little strong for me like my taste in, in sense but i'm working my way up so i thought i would start with the gentle fluidity this is a very strong scent it is very like how can i say it's warm it's floral but it has it has a hint of like it's it's a little dark i don't know if that makes sense but it smells so good you smell rich with this but i cannot put too much of this because it's super strong and would give me a headache but look at the bottle i mean you guys look at this Ugh. this is absolutely amazing i love 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 this and it lasts all day i don't have to put too much because like i said it's a very strong scent and i will definitely get a headache but you will definitely smell me coming a mile away wearing this so this is the end of my perfume collection if you guys have any of these or you've tried them before let me know in the comments down below how you like them if you have not heard of some of them let me know if you're willing to try them or which one you know spark your interest and which one you want to try you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you enjoy these contents of course share with your friends and family i thank you so much for watching thank you for hanging out with me and i will see you guys very soon in my next video bye